So let's have this conversation that we are all supposed to have had a while back what i've refused to have but i'm actually going to start having right now we've got just eighty-six thousand four hundred seconds in a day it does sound like a lot but when you really think about it it's not a lot of seconds yet out of all of those you spend about 120 of those almost every day and sometimes even more designing on canva now that is not even my problem that's not even where we have the problem because canva is such an amazing tool where i have the problem is that after spending all of those time like that huge allocation of all the seconds you've got trying to design on canva you still realize that after those two hours you are tired frustrated and then the design just looks 2002 like it's not hitting the spot it's not doing what you want it to do and as a business owner or an entrepreneur really really think about it you know that is time that you cannot get back that is time you could have used on tasks that would actually bring in the money I'm going to walk you through very practical tips that took even my own designs from being blur to you know popping when i say popping i mean sizzling hot design the kind of design that the suya guy will give you and you will gladly collect and that is why we are making this video so without much ado and without wasting your time because remember i said most productive video let's get right to the tips so tip number one you need to start thinking about your design before you design now i used to be going to that school of thought where i would just open up canva and then i would expect design gods to come to me and just say all right this is what you need to design today and you know it just starts flowing it doesn't work that way sorry to bust your bubble but design is not that at all design is one of those things that you have to sit down and think about before you design it actually means sourcing for inspiration there are a lot of platforms that has where people post their designs that you can go and source for inspiration now please note it's a disclaimer when i say source for inspiration i don't mean steal somebody's design but sometimes that inspiration gets things going and once you work with the inspiration you find yourself tweaking and moving things here and there you know up and down till you get to the point where nobody will have any idea that you know this is where you got the design from so when it comes to inspiration i like to check pinterest I like to check Instagram. I like to check the pages of other designers. Just see what they've done and see if it sparks something in my head. Sometimes it can be the layouts. By layout, I mean how they arrange their own design. Sometimes it could be the color that inspires me. Sometimes it could be the kind of image. Sometimes it could even be the kind of design. Do they use like abstract patterns? Do they use lots of lines? Do they use lots of white space? Do they use black? people in their designs do they use white people in their designs are they using icons you know that kind of stuff but starting your design on a blank page i'll be honest is one of the biggest recipe for disasters and if you want to design faster is one thing that you need to stop doing come to canva brimming with ideas and that way you would realize that you spend less time another place you could get your design ideas is from canva itself the canva templates that you see um i used to combine two templates together tweak one thing remove something else or even work with the templates and just make it my own most of around guys the main tip here is this think about your designs before you design one of the things that it took me a while to realize but eventually when i realized it it made all the difference is this your background is important sometimes the background we use for our designs is the last thing we think about sometimes we just use like a plain color or something and all of that is fine but sometimes guys a very vibrant background makes all of the difference something that photoshop and all these other designers know that we canva designers have not come to realize yet or we who use canva have not come to realize yet designing on canva doesn't mean that you wouldn't necessarily need to buy backgrounds from platforms like peak art and all of those pl platforms they are there to help make your design journey easier you know it doesn't mean you're not going to pay for some of these platforms but trust me whatever investment you make there is going to be like pay you back in like time and effort and stuff and sometimes you just buy something that you will use over and over and over again you realize that the better your background looks the better your design will be the more you see it comes to life especially when it comes to things like 
flyers you i realized personally that when i started using better background images like this or backgrounds like this or backgrounds like this i saw a very tremendous improvement in the look of my designs they started looking more professional started looking better started looking like they started coming off the page and grabbing attention they stopped looking like what was made on cover because trust me a lot of times you can tell what somebody made on cover i started looking more like professional like people were never thinking of the platform i used they were just thinking oh this looks so good this looks really nice my first point is this start editing the images you use on canva guys this is one of those tips that is just going to god like it is some of those minor things that make all the difference sometimes when you need to design on canva we just take an image from elements pop it into our design and just leave it and that's it and then when things are not looking coercive they're not coming together we're asking ourselves why but you see you need to edit your image to suit your design like add a bit of contrast add a bit of saturation make it clear make it bold maybe color it a little bit or maybe even change the color of the image sometimes those things are what you know makes it look good you know it's just like when you are using makeup as a lady and then you have everything on there's just this thing like when you use makeup fix it just brings everything together that is what editing your image will do it's gonna make it pop look good i'm not going to dwell on this one but guys start editing your images that you use in your design my fourth tip is going to be a cliche one <laughs> that i know that you guys will not want to hear from me but i'm just gonna say it i'm going to say it learn the design principles no you don't want to hear it from me today but yes it is a thing it's just like learning the alphabets so you can construct better words and eventually construct better sentences that's the same thing that design principles do it is the foundation learn how to use contrast learn how to you know work with white space learn hierarchy learn those things you know and there's so many videos on the internet on youtube especially that's going to teach you that i would also personally work on a video um, where I teach the basic principles of design. If you'd like me to make a video on how you can apply principles of design to your design, let me know in the comments. I'm going to teach you all about that. Next tip is to use better Canva elements. Like guys, 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 Canva has so many elements. Oh my God. When I say elements, I mean all of those pieces that make up your design from you know maybe a little circle that you put at the side a square that you put at the top you know the effects you use the illustrations the images oh god using better elements is just everything oh god and the only way you can learn to use better elements is by studying other designs is by looking at those designs that you love and just notice what they use that you normally would not use did they use something that's abstract did they use something that's 3d maybe you tend to use a certain shape or something you know do they use something like just study what makes them different study the kind of elements they use and you can take that one element that they use and just poke it somewhere in your design and see how it makes it work or find something else that works for your own design. You know, studying other people's design or looking at other people's design is going to develop your own design thinking, <laughs> if that's a thing. Number six is have a brand guideline. This tip is not necessarily for Canva designers. This tip is for business owners or people who use design for assessing things and not necessarily to offer services to others. Have a brand guideline. You need to remember that you are not trying to be a designer. You're trying to create nice things for your own business. So if you're trying to create nice things for your own business, why wear yourself thin by trying to be everything and being everywhere and design this today, design that today, design... Like, you're just going to wear yourself out. You're not in business to be a designer. You are in business to do business. <laughs> design is just a means to an end. Have a brand guideline, you know. Have the elements that you use for your design. Have your own fonts. Have your own color combination. Have all those kind of things. When you streamline, 
streamline that process you make it easier for you you know that when i'm going to design these are the things i use to design these are the kind of ways that my design look and you know just putting yourself within that bubble saves you loads of headache you're not using pink today and using blue tomorrow and using purple next tomorrow and using ombre the day after and using something else and wearing yourself out because oh my, you are not a designer because the truth is you are actually not a designer you are an entrepreneur and you know and in most cases you might just end up outsourcing it to someone so having a brand guideline is just even going to make the outsourcing process easy because when it's time for you to take off that hat of being a designer and giving it to your personal assistant or whoever you need to give it to it's going to be a lot easier because there's a guideline there's something for them to follow now my seventh tip is really simple design with templates and i know you didn't come here for me to tell you to design with templates but do you know that you can pay a designer to create templates for your own business especially if your content is heavy on things like quotes and just you wanting to share your thoughts and um, one page that does this really well that i really love is world month uh, monthly now i don't know if i pronounced that right but i'm just gonna pop like the kind of designs that they do on instagram that i really like they tend they are very heavy on like gist and information and that kind of stuff and they have a particular template they use for that kind of post now you can imagine how easy this has made things for the owner of the page they are not looking for a new design every time they need to put out a kind of post this is going to be perfect for you if you are sure of your content strategy you already know the type of post that you put out you can just pay someone to design an array of templates and on etsy and some other platforms you can actually just buy templates that work for this sort of thing it's left to you where you choose to source it you can either pay designer buy already made no templates or even use the templates on canva but if you already know your content strategy you know the kind of content that you consistently put out you might want to just invest in templates and just use your templates over and over and over see that is less headache that also is going to give you a more recognizable brand so every time people see those posts even without seeing a name on it they already know who the design belongs to what brand is associated with this and it's just a very easy thing to do and i know you might be thinking if you're like me you're like mm, wouldn't it make my page boring i mean my page is just going to look one way or the other see let's just talk let me tell you the truth people are on your page for the value you give people are on your page for what they need to gain from you do you get so i I think sometimes we are always just trying to be the designers rather than focusing on the value that we are bringing now another thing you want to do to improve your canva design is to keep filling your inspiration box guys if i show you a screenshot of my mobile right now you will scream because my mobile is filled with like designs like i'm always taking screenshots because i always want to whenever i see something that is new whenever i see something that i like even if it's one thing in that design i'm taking screenshots what that is for me is that i'm consistently filling my inspiration box i'm exposing myself to new things another thing i do is follow designers that I, that really inspire me follow designers that i like even follow pages that you know have designs that i really really like so keep filling that design inspiration box keep exposing yourself to these things if you see people who put out content or put out posts on design you know expose yourself to it just so you can see because the more your mind can visualize these things the more your mind starts thinking in that design direction and the more your mind starts thinking it means that there's a huge possibility that the next time you need to design you're not going to be going over the same cycle of things that you design because just like handwriting there's a way that your mind just tends to design a certain way and you would need to manage it and train it to think of design if you want to go a different way that you maybe feel is better so keep filling that inspiration box expose yourself to designs that are really nice and before you know it you start designing things that are really nice which takes us to the next tip one thing that some people do is they when it comes to design they make one type of design fit all but one of the things you need to know if you need to design for your brand or even as a canva designer is that you need to design according to the message of the brand for example if you're designing for a kids brand 
use vibrant colors use images use illustrations that kind of stuff if you're designing for a more sophisticated brand then you know that you want to stick to more black and white maybe metallics or even like their brand color but more of you know the classy looking colors like the blacks and the whites you know if you're designing for more of a skincare brand you know that okay green is going to be my be one of the colors you want to explore you want to use elements that show show the kind of brand if they're natural or organic brand you want to use things like leaves you know those kind of things that portray your brand basically what i'm saying is design according to the brand don't just design something because it looks good your design needs to communicate what the brand is about this is one of those really short tips but when you take into consideration like practically they make all of the difference now my 10th tip is this if design is not working man outsource it <laughs> I know that's not what you were waiting to hear from me, but don't stress yourself. If design is not working, outsource it. There are people who wake up and love design and all they do from money till night is design. You know, why not outsource it to them? I know that sometimes they take more time to churn out design, which is why, I mean, if you follow the, all the other tips I have given, your design will practically improve however if design is not your thing if it's taking so much of your time you know outsource it maybe start planning your content in advance so that someone can make your content way ahead of time and the only thing you have to do is those last mini things that you have to do by yourself i'm a huge supporter of outsourcing things as a business owner because your brain can only do so many things in one day and you only have so many seconds in a day so as much as possible you want to ensure that you are putting this in the hands of people who would handle it well so that you can do other things that would actually bring the profit in your business because if you're not directing things if you're not thinking of the future if you're not making the plans and making the projections and you're spending all of those times in your business like it is so counterproductive and to a large extent you would be the one hindering your business growth so if design is weighing you down if it is a lot if it is stressing you out that could be an indicator that you need to outsource it to someone so if i'm going to give you an 11th tip it's going to be this it is very important that you practicalize what you learn nobody gets better by just hearing you can only see the improvement when you actually do so after this video i don't want you to scoot off and look for like the next design video to watch and then today you're just in this spiral where you find yourself just watching video after video after video after video and then afterwards when it's time to design you're just back to the same old design <laughs> you need to actually do to see results if canva is not your thing and canva has absolutely been stressing you out maybe you're a total beginner you're trying to figure out how exactly it works well if you would check the top of the screen i have a video for you if you are an absolute beginner in canva i take you through the step-by-step -step process of canva i mean after watching this video canva is going to be like a walk in the park it's be like oh bring it when somebody talks about canva you'll be like oh bring it on i know how to use this thing like i get this it just works for me you know so you want to you know just save that video if you cannot watch it right now because remember we have to go and design or just you know sit down dedicate the next few minutes and just watch it from start till the end and it's going to tremendously improve your knowledge of canva now if you're not going to be watching that video how about you take time to watch these other videos that i have prepared specially for you they are also about design and business and by that friend you never knew you needed on youtube you know you probably spend a lot of times you know watching random videos this is a channel that you watch and you can practically see your brain cells multiplying like by the seconds you know so if design business or even lifestyle is your thing you might want to watch some of the other videos we have like these two videos i have on the screen right now so take a few seconds a few more minutes watch them and like i said watch your brain cells multiply <laughs> okay so i thank you so much for watching this video and i am going to see you in the next video because i know you're going to watch the next one okay 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 and this don't forget to click on the subscribe button see you in that next video bye